I have another question. Uh, would be easier for the couch people. Go so, who's the feminist? I'm sorry. Me. I mean, it should be obvious at this point. <laughs> the Hillary I mean, Clinton uh, ones. Uh, go ahead. Uh, see, go ahead. Okay. I'm uh, starting on the couch. couch. Is Lizzo beautiful? Oh, that bitch is ugly as fuck. All right, we'll start Miss Colorado. Go ahead. Yes or no? And why? You want a why too, Nico? <clears throat> um, we we get asked why after. Lizzo. Okay. Is Lizzo beautiful? I mean, she has a pretty face. <laughs> really? Yes or no? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, no. Okay. Yeah, you guys are so honest. Tranny dater. <laughs> <laughs> me to be honest yeah. i don't really know what she looks like but i like her confidence oh you want to see she looks like black job of the hut oh my god let's pull up a picture for her so she can uh, uh while, while we wait all right miss houston well yes that no? wasn't true because how would you know her confidence if you didn't know what she looked like um, i know Lizzo, her music I that didn't make sense um if i'm being completely honest yeah. um i feel like society has built an image of what women should look like all right we may be flagged so oh no I'm continue sorry. on don't worry um my bad, my bad. and uh I don't think that she fits that criteria, although I do love her confidence. Okay. But what do you think? Do you think she's beautiful? Uh, Body-wise? She is pear-shaped. Not so much. And this is just me being completely honest. I mean... Just overall. Not like... You don't need to relegate body uh, body parts individually. Just like her as a We'll keep it simple for them. Objectively speaking, from a beautiful standpoint of aesthetics only... No, my cock is so a hard. Get off the screen, Myron. Is that what you mean, Sneeko? Right? Because yes. you know how girls are going to be like, oh, but you could be beautiful if you feel like it. So, Well, I want to ask her personal opinion. Like, do you okay. think she's beautiful? Uh, Aesthetically, no. Sorry. Okay. What about you? Ms. She, Respectfully. She has a beautiful face, but no, like the body. She's not hot. Hmm. So is the answer yes or no? No. So what's she got to do to get hot? Like, how many pounds, bro? <laughs> How many pounds does that woman have to lose, ladies? In my opinion, um, what I think is beautiful is the woman who That's truly an takes care Don't of herself. Don't be political. Just answer. How many pounds should she lose? How many pounds she? Mm. Is we don't right even now. know how she weighs. How yeah. much she weighs? Don't guess. Why don't you guess? <laughs> I'd say in the two. It gives a number. Two fifty. Just... Holy shit! You're evil. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna give a bitch What about you? Uh, you think she's beautiful? Me? Yes. Um, no, I don't think she's objectively what people. But what do you do? You think she's beautiful? <laughs> um, I think her body type is not my type. Um, whose type is it? <laughs> I wait. I thought you're pansexual. I am pansexual. I thought you fall in love with personality. Yeah. So if I met Lizzo, there's a chance I would find her beautiful, but that doesn't mean from the get go. Really? When she's biting her thumb, eating? Oh. Like, well, kind of if I get to know a person, there's a high, like, very well, I can fall in love with them, but I don't know her very well. Also, pansexuality <laughs> refers to genders, and, like, weight is, like, a preference. I don't think weight falls under the category of, like, gender. Or, like, a, that's not, like, a sexuality. I thought pansexual is, like, it doesn't really matter what you look like. It's just... I think that's you're... demisexuality, right? Yeah. When you, like, fall in love there's with people based off of... There's more made-up sexualities? Yeah, there's made-up sexualities, yeah. How many have you just... I, I got a question. After we run through this that that's very because okay yeah. we might have the same follow-up question but yeah. yeah what about you lesbian um yeah i do because okay. i feel like beauty is what's inside so i think mm. she's a nice there's person. cheetos inside <laughs> and i love cheetos they're so good they're so mm. tasty okay so so how does it work like how would you you know could you you have to like fold it up to scissor her or something okay so you didn't tell me that i was fucking her but i think i was I think I would strap her from the back, if anything. So really? Oh, yeah. So, so the I'm answer is yes, you find her attractive. You think yes, she's beautiful? Yes, I do. Okay. Oh, 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 it's her fault. Oh, it's her fault. It's her fault. It's all over her nose. Oh, what about, it's okay. Don't yell at her. She came with me. Don't yell at her. What about, what about you? <laughs> it's fine. We got the team on it. What about you? Um, no, but I really value her talent. Okay. <laughs> Why'd you even say that? <laughs> so that because she's a really good my, singer. My bad. The coke wore off. I'm like yeah. fidgety. Yeah. All right. What about you? Yeah, I think she's beautiful. You think she is? Why? Let me get out of here. Let me go. I don't know. I just think she's beautiful. Her smile, her eyes, the way she carries herself makes me beautiful. Would you want your son to get married to her? Thank you. She's a nice woman. If she's responsible, if she's honest. Yeah. But she might die early, though. But she might die early. She treats him right. For like five years until diabetes takes over. Well, we can all work to that. Work, work on that together. So you're going to tell her to lose weight? You're going to like... I can encourage her, yeah. Just we can work all together. New regimen. New diet. Okay. Uh, Teamwork. What about uh, we'll we'll skip to here just so it's a little bit easier. Uh, what about you? Do you think she's a, uh, beautiful? Um, no, I don't find obesity beautiful. Okay. What about uh, you? Um, yeah, I think that you need to take care of your temple, uh, your your actual physical body. Um, I don't know if it might be a health problem, so I can't say like you know she's out here overeating. I don't know 
her. So, um, I mean, would it be fair to say that it's obvious that she's overeating? It made it, but I I know that there might be people that are you know don't have a good health and they're overweight because of their health, not because of they're not you know eating. I mean, fat loss is all down to calorie deficit. Yeah, I mean, you have medicine that slows down your thyroid sometimes and stuff like that. I've heard of that too, but I I don't know. Control calories; those medicines. I mean, calories in, calories out literally dictates weight loss. This is the. I know, but haven't you heard? You haven't you heard about like thyroid metabolism and basically how fast you process those calories? So like if you have a slow like if you're if you have thyroid mm-hmm. problems, you can be consuming a normal amount of calories, but your body's gonna take longer to process them. So weight gain becomes faster, even though you're eating the suppo- like normal amount that you're supposed to. Using the thyroid argument for why people are obese is a Oh, I'm not saying phenomenon. that's her. I don't I don't know. Yeah. I, I was so trying to help the, her. It all comes down to energy in versus energy out. Sure. Calorie deficit. If you don't lose weight, you are by definition not in a calorie deficit. So that's just the law of energy thermodynamics. So it's like if you're overweight or you have a lot of body fat, that means irrefutably you eat too many calories. Yeah, uh, yeah, I don't know. We make all these excuses for people to be fat in the United States and in the West in general. Yeah, that's true. You know, to, oh, I can't lose weight because of uh, my uh, my metabolism or uh, thyroid. It's all a bunch of cope. It's a lie. You, You just eat too much. Don't, I mean, I, I agree with you, yeah. but I also she think. She disagrees like it's, yeah, go ahead, wait, please. Wait, okay. You got, go ahead, but, you know, like people do have health issues about that and they need to eat more. So what do you think about that? Like diabetes and everything like that? Like what do you feel like? What well, I mean, as far as like, they have diabetes a lot of times because yeah, they're fat. Like, well, yeah. Yeah. Like, I mean, next person. Yeah. Like, <laughs> the, the, the reason why they have diabetes in the first place is because they're fat. Well, yeah, I guess. Well, well she could be like sad, Rolly but... too, just getting surgery instead of going to the gym. Say that again. She could be like really too and just get surgery instead of going to the well, gym. I don't want to get surgery. Why? Why? See, that th- surgery is the easy way out. Though. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Mm, right. It's still you still have to in order to get bariatric surgery, you still have to lose weight before you get the surgery to show to the doctor that you're able to stick to a diet plan. And then mm. even once you get the surgery, you, you still have all it does is it like reduces the size of your stomach so that you're full quicker but you still have to eat a very specific diet and most people like a, i don't know the exact percentage i wish i did but a large portion of people who get bariatric surgery instantly balloon right they, back up they go back up yeah yeah yeah, yeah. it's a lifestyle choice yeah, it's a lifestyle choice. you yeah. have to you really have to change your lifestyle even if you get the bariatric mm-hmm. surgery yeah. and that's why it's not no, i agree i agree i i i, do, I think surgery the, yeah. you know is stupid. Yeah. You're, you're trying to say something? Yeah. So the people that got interested, y'all feel like they is attractive. They get, they like people what? that I'm from Memphis, we really don't talk that well. Like okay. people that what? you Music. People I love anorexic. Anorexic. Okay. Like, anorexic. Like, anorexic. Oh, anorexic. No, anorexic people are also unattractive. <laughs> See, so yeah. what is attractive to healthy. y'all? Like that's someone who's healthy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How's she not healthy? What she eat spinach you, a day? Because she's like, completely overweight. It's it, you no, can, she's visually unhealthy. They're also unhealthy. They're not eating enough. What's yeah. enough? What's the word? I'm about ex- the two extremes here. You see, like typically extremes are not that attractive. Like you're talking about someone that's morbidly obese, and you have someone that's gaunt, skinny. That's two- crazy. So Myron, what's what's attractive? Is what my question. Well, what, wait, someone who's healthy. healthy, like a regular BMI. Like oh. I would just look at BMI, <laughs> right? Yeah, I would say though that I think people don't realize like what under what underweight can look like on a woman like some of the most conventionally attractive like models and women like we would think maybe victoria's secret models someone like bella hadid like most the majority of women can't sit comfortably with abs showing because if they do they're usually they're like women's body fat percentages need to be slightly higher than men's on average yeah, like 25 so like yeah. when you see women like when i see women like bella hadid like i know for a fact she's probably underweight even though most people would say like this is a pinnacle of health this is ideal this is like the bmi of a woman but like or like of a healthy women I would think so. I would think that most people look at Victoria's Secret models and they think because they see abs and like rippling abs on a woman that that's very healthy. But those women can be underweight and they're just not exhibiting symptoms in the same way that we can like clock the unhealthiness of somebody who's like obviously obese. But that comes with its own slew of it. Like you can it's it's part of like the female athlete triad. Like you you put yourself at risk for like osteoporosis or like loss of bone density very early on heart issues because if you're under eating, your body will start to tap into your muscle reserves or like your metabolically active tissue. And at some point, like. An example of somebody who died from anorexia was like Karen Carpenter, who was like a famous singer. And she died of a heart attack like in her 30s because eventually your body runs out of like fat storage. It starts to go to your muscle. It weakens the muscle around your heart and you can die that way. So our perception- You're using like ridiculous yeah. exceptions. So, like, no, this is the one percent, one percent, one percent. Like the reality is like the things you listed, 
are so far and few between. It's actually, it's you're better off just going to the gym, training, eating correctly, right? Then, and the chances of your health being good are significantly higher than if you're fat as fuck. Isn't anorexia <laughs> I, the, same, the number one um, mental illness that leads to death, though, for a woman? Yeah. Because if you're anorexic, you cannot build muscle because you're not in an anabolic state. So th- th- the two counteract each other. My only point was that, like, if we're saying that men are attracted to healthy women, there's a slew of like a mainstream models who would men, men would consider right. would say I'm attracted to them, right. but they're not healthy. People because, don't yeah, really find healthy, mainstream models healthy? attractive. When people talk about attractive women, it's they never really. We don't even know the names of most of these people. You said Belly Hadid. That's not the the peak physique. I'm that not saying what is the peak physique, physique. But I'm saying if she's in the mainstream, if like Victoria's Secret has calculated like this model is going to make us money, obviously they've made the correct calculation that. Her looks, her aesthetics appeal to the majority of men and women. That's not true. The the fashion industry appeals to gay men. That does not, that's not designed for what straight men like. So you don't think straight men like the Victoria's Secret models? Yeah, maybe to look at, but no no guy's ever said that that's their favorite woman. Exactly. Favorite is the problem. So what you guys are missing is what they're saying is a Victoria's Secret model, for you guys' example, is not the ideal candidate for a man. They're all just fuck, not. bro. They're like you no know, men are looking at Victoria's Secret models going, oh my god, I gotta have her. No, like, no they're, they're not. Guys they're guys not guys not because, models, because if they did, they they, you would have a, a culture of women who like Victoria's Secret models and not fucking Kim Kardashian. Wait, Black China. You have a culture of women. That's who are why. Trying, yeah, you have a culture of women who tried to look like. Kim Kardashian or Victoria's Secret because models. they look healthy, so they're voluptuous, they're cu- they're curvy, they're what men like to look at. Like nobody, nobody, nobody wants to look like a guy with six pack abs that weighs 110 pounds. Okay, like, right. this, all, 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 you want to finish with the? I just want to finish. This is all cope. Like I talked about how Lizzo's overweight, and then we all pivoted it to how skinny women are unhealthy too. I thought Lizzo was attractive. Do you? Do you? Damn. I was going to no, say that you want to finish. We didn't go Look, back down here's the truth. <laughs> if a ma- that's a huge red flag. If a man says they find Victoria's Secret long, lanky, tall, skinny woman attractive. Exactly. He's very bisexual. Even since caveman times, we like figure eights. Women like to say they like men with six packs. That's not actually what increases arousal at the club. It's broadness and a uh, strong thoracic look like those NFL big traps guys. Mm -hmm. When women see an upside down triangle in men like this shape, they get wet. They don't get wet for six packs, believe it or not. When we see a figure eight like Kim Kardashian, we get hard. Right. If you like skinny women, you're gay. You're literally gay. That's what I just said. Yeah. You back. Okay, we can finish. Do you find Lizzo attractive? Dancer? Me? You know how much? No, no, you're, you're, not, you're not the dancer. Yeah, you. You the dancer. A few dancers. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's, a yes, no, it's, it's very simple. Is Lizzo beautiful? Honest. It's just her body. It's not. What? 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 Is it yes or no she question? beautiful. She's beautiful? she's beautiful. Okay. But it's her body. How would you feel if I said it. she's beautiful? You look like Lizzo. Whoa. Oh God, maybe this ass too. Whoa. <laughs> Keep, but you said she's beautiful, so why you can't look like Lizzo? Keep blowing her <laughs> ego. So why you can't look like Do you see the do you see the double standard right there? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, the body, right. exactly. The I just you just said Lizzo's beautiful. Yeah, I said Lizzo you look like Lizzo, and you're like, nah, this ass too. You said Lizzo's beautiful. It doesn't matter what part of you looks like Lizzo, except the compliment. She's beautiful. Holy shit. Psychological warfare on her. You're built like Lizzo. But you didn't say you're beautiful like Lizzo. You said you, you look, look like Lizzo, Lizzo. but she doesn't look she like Lizzo. Lizzo. That's beautiful. Not. I know, you but I'm saying you do beautiful like Lizzo. You shifted the goalposts because you right. said no. We established Lizzo's beautiful. I here's said here's what Sneakle right. trying to say. Ovaries, ovaries, listen, ovaries, listen. Here's what Sneakle's trying to say. Every girl on earth thinks Lizzo's beautiful till a dude says you look like her. I didn't say that. Her body, though, her body is what. Her body. That's the worst part. <laughs> right? I think I can get away with the face. Do a bunch of crack, fuck her in the face, but the body is like, the body's the worst part. If I had a dick, I would let her give me head for sure. No, you wouldn't, bro. You probably have yeah, a cold. No, uh, cold. Why is you a What you mean? Yeah. Well, <laughs> Nobody <laughs> here is fucking She just wants a BJ and spell to explain it. Okay, what do you think? What is Lizzo beautiful? You? Yeah. Are you going to change your answer now? Oh, fuck no. I, Lizzo's oh. got some of my goddamn nerves. Okay. She's so put fuck no. clothes on. Okay, okay. What, oh. about, uh, what about you? Yes or no? What? I think Lizzo, Lizzo is 
Personally, I find Lizzo beautiful. Do but it on I a lie detector test, that... clown white woman. Do it on a lie detector right here. <laughs> Do it, say she's beautiful on a lie detector test. I'll give you ten thousand fucking dollars. Zerka, you let can, me finish. You want, give I'm me your gonna... PayPal. I'll give you ten thousand right now if you do that. Okay, so now, yeah, so you drown. Slow down, slow down. I hate liars. Slow down, slow down, slow down, Zerka. Jesus hates you. Save it. Save the energy. Please go ahead. I'm just gonna say that I find Lizzo personally attractive, but I recognize that I think according to like like these objective beauty standards that you're appealing to, or I guess like mainstream conventionally attractive i don't think lizzo falls into anyone's idea like conventionally attractive what do you, you i recognize say, yeah. that yeah but i, I think I, I know i fall outside the norm why do you want to be different so bad <laughs> what do you mean you wanted mm -hmm. to date a transformer now you think lizzo's I, hot i didn't say that i wanted to date a trans man you asked me if i would and i said yeah i would so you would date okay what if lizzo was a transformer would you <laughs> would you date transformer lizzo with a mechanical pee pee yeah if we were compatible yeah. and i had chemistry with with transformer lizzo hell yeah why, why not? are you lying what? No matter what I say, Snooker, you're gonna say you're fucking lying. It's it's objective. No, if you say she's ugly as fuck, I'll believe it. I don't think that there's such a thing as like objective beauty. I think beauty's in the eye of the beholder. Are you a retarded? Because, again, what you the literally, fuck? Man, you guys beauty is some symmetry. Look at my face, Secret, woman. You I'll show you beauty. That men who are attracted to your Victoria's Secret models are not completely straight or something. I love Andrew Tate. This girl's lying, bro. Okay. Fuck this. Real bro. quick, uh, what about you? Do you think she's uh, Lizzo is beautiful? Yes or no? Oh, I already, I already went. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes. So I noticed something very interesting when I was watching the ladies' answers. The girls that said yes, right? You you know, to a degree. Like, the they, they'd feel insulted if you said, oh, well, you look like Lizzo. Let's give it a thousand. Mm -hmm. she, she would just prove that with her. But then the girls that said no, I don't know if you noticed this, they qualified their statement by saying, oh, but, you know, she's talented. Or yeah. they would say something to kind of mitigate the damage about her. Not all of you, but all, a lot of girls. You said she's it. talented, but had girls here, so nothing yeah. to do with so, her beauty. And I think this is kind of one of the things that, like, men and women are different about. Women are very concerned to give objective advice or realities that hurt feelings. That's why they shouldn't vote. Myron, you said this a year ago. I don't yeah. know if you still hold on to this, but it yeah. was perfect. Yeah. I love you. You said... Why men Pause. don't lie as much as women is because of the threat of a knockout. Like, we're afraid. If you lie with men, men punch you in the face. If you do a dirty business deal with a man, you get jumped. Women, they don't actually jump punch each other. They're not like us. So they get away with Didn't lying. Didn't you just say that she was brawling with her girl all the yeah, time? Yeah, but she's not a woman. Yeah. She's a lesbian. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Changing the fucking category. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about, about, about the ones that aren't traumatized. Okay. Uh, uh, traumatized is crazy. No, I read no, it. I'm not. I don't believe that. I've just read it from. What, what I've noticed right. is that the reason why men handle the truth better is because men understand to a degree that if you don't know the honest truth or you're not getting honest criticism, you're not going to self improve and it's going to limit your ability to, to meet and mate with women. However, women, on the other hand. We could lie to them all day because women are easier to sell to and guys are going to accept them no matter what. Yeah. That's why women prefer lies. Okay.